Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me today on this Tuesday, May the 10th, 2022. It's about 3.50 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, thank you so much as we continue to get together and go through these devotionals, these daily devotionals, which contains lots of medicine. I call it medicine because the Word of God is medicine. It's healing. It's power. It's all kinds of good stuff. That's in the Word, too. That's why I highly encourage you guys that do watch these videos, to write these scriptures down, go back afterwards. It's not a rush. You don't have to do it immediately, folks. Just write them down, meditate on them, and just let God speak to you. It's not hard. We complicate it way much harder than, than, it, than it is. It's, it's not hard. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. Our title for the May, May the 10th is, it is the 10th. All right, forgive me. Our title is Complete Access. I like that. Complete Access. That sounds like a t-shirt. In our... As I got done saying, our study scriptures today, guys, is Ephesians chapter 3, verses 7 through 13. And our lead-off verse is Ephesians chapter 3, verse 12. And the Word of God says, In Him, and through faith in Him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. In Him. Now, that him here is not capitalized. It should be because in him is in Jesus Christ. And I'm uh, praying that that's what our author is going to write about, who is uh, Bill Crowder today. He goes on to say, A few years ago, a friend invited me to join him as a spectator at a pro golf tournament. <laughs> I'm sorry. Being a, being, a first, being a first timer, I had no idea what to expect. When we arrived... We got a few nice freebies, but what topped it all was getting access to a VIP tent, complete with free food. Mm, yummy, yummy. I couldn't have gained entry to the hospitality tent on my own, though. The key was my friend. Friend. It was only through him that I had complete access. Left to ourselves, we would all be hopelessly separated from God. That is so true. But Jesus, who we could stop right there, but Jesus, but Jesus, who took our penalty, he took our penalty, everybody's, offers us his life and access to God. It's pretty awesome, folks. The Apostle Paul wrote, God's intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known. That's Ephesians 3, verse 10. God's intent was that now, through the church, that's the body of Christ, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known. Guys, I would meditate on that today. Tomorrow. Just please, if you, if you don't go back and read these study scriptures, meditate on that one, please. Ephesians 3, 10. Jesus made a way for us to come to God the Father. Through faith in Christ, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. When we put our trust in Jesus, we receive the greatest access of all. Access to the God who loves us and desires relationship with us. Man, what am I going to say? That's a good one. It is a good one. Just another beautiful reminder how awesome our daddy is. I call Jesus my big brother a lot. That's in the scripture. He's, you know, he's our brother. He's our friend. He's our mediator. He's our savior, our Lord, our king, our high priest. Uh, he's our shepherd. He is our access. He holds the key, all access directly to God the Father through Jesus Christ. Um, the word of God says, you know, um, that Jesus is the way. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody can come to the Father except by him. We're not getting to God the Father without receiving Jesus Christ in our life, folks. That's not my word. That's not my interpretation. That's not my opinion. That is directly the word of God. God is telling us how to come to him, that the only way to come to him is through Jesus. Jesus is our complete access. And when you can go boldly to the throne of his grace and mercy and make your requests and petitions known to him, man, we just, guys, we need to stop and think, what are we we keep waiting on God. We keep waiting on God to do something. God's done. He's done it all. Jesus Christ came here and he paid everything in full. All of our pen penalties and sins paid in full. He conquered death. Death has no more sting. 
But then, better than that, he was resurrected. So now we're resurrected with him if you truly believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. So, too many of us, I think, we, we stop at the cross. We just keep Jesus on that cross, and we just focus on our sins being forgiven. Man, did he pay for so much more than that, guys. Don't take my word for it. Get in the scriptures yourself. Read this Ephesians 3, 7. Read Ephesians 3. Just read the whole chapter. Just pick the book up and start reading. There's some beautiful stuff in there that tells you how our daddy was. Uh, guys, this is just, uh, man, it's just another, just a beautiful thing we're, we're I know there's a lot in scripture that says, you know, the the, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, things like that. And there's a lot in there that talks about, you know, having fear for God. People get that misconstrued what that type of fear is. It's not being scared because God did not give us a spirit of fear, not that kind of fear. But uh, he gave us a spirit of timidity and a uh, spirit of fear of timidity, but uh, he gave us a spirit of a sound mind. And you need to have that sound mind that God is such an awesome God, such a loving God that he sent Jesus Christ to take care of everything for us. That's how much he loves you. He is not going to send Jesus to do all this just to bring you to heaven so he can punish you. Jesus Christ took all our punishment. He took all our sickness. He took all our disease. It's all paid in full, guys. It's just a question of where's your faith at? How do you view God, your daddy? You know, maybe you grew up with having a earthly father that was just, that was just nasty. And you, you kind of, Jesus, uh, God is nothing like that. God is nothing like any earthly father that's ever existed. So guys, just, just get alone with the Lord. Read scriptures, meditate. The more you read the word of God, the more you'll know who he is. The more you know who you are. The more you'll know what this world's all about. And guys, man, we can just we can just start knocking the teeth out of Satan again. He's already lost. I get that, but uh, we need to keep reminding him. So, thanks again for joining me today, guys. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Praise God. Give him some glory. Get along with him, and just uh, just let him speak through you. Let him work in you and through you for his glory. Love you guys.